Simon Says, subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial from Simon Says It. In this video, I will show you how to remove dropdowns in Excel. Adding a dropdown to the cells in Excel helps you to enter the data easily. But sometimes, using the data validation method in dropdown to add values in Excel has some disadvantages. In this video, I will show you how to remove dropdowns in Excel in three easy ways. Let us get right into it. Using the same data validation option, you can remove any particular dropdown from a cell or the dropdown from all the cells in the worksheet or any particular option. First, select all the cells with the dropdown you want to remove. Navigate to Data. Under the Data Tools section, click on Data Validation. If you have selected any other cells which do not have the data validation, Excel throws a pop-up. Click Yes. This opens up the Data Validation dialog box. Under the Settings tab, click on the Clear All button. Once you click on Clear All, the data validation inputs and settings will be cleared. Now, click OK. Thus, the data validation inputs and the drop-down for the selected cells have been removed. This is another effective and quick way to remove drop-downs in Excel. When you delete any data in the data validation cell, the data in the cell will be removed but the drop-down remains. When you use the Clear button, it removes all the data in the cell. To remove the data validation, first, select the cells you want to clear. Navigate to Home. Under the Editing section, click on the drop-down from Clear and select Clear All. This removes the data validation from the selected cells and also the data in the cells. There is another easy and effective method to remove drop-downs in Excel. This method works on the principle that copying and pasting a cell with particular formatting changes the format of the cell where it is pasted. The most important step is to select an equal number of cells as the number of cells you want to replace. If not, only the number of cells copied will be replaced and the rest of the cells will be left off. Now, select the cells you want to remove dropdowns from. Either right-click on the starting cell and select Paste, or press Ctrl plus V. The drop-downs will be removed successfully. Removing the data validation drop-downs in Excel helps you to easily enter the data into cells, especially when they are not listed in any of the drop-downs. In this video, we saw how to remove drop-downs in Excel in three easy ways. You can either choose to remove just the data validations or the data from the cells. Choose the method that suits your purpose best. Thank you. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full blog article that this video came from, please click over there and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.